Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when working with SMTP servers. Our viewer has a question about the server response, 5.7 type 1, unable to relay, and the different behaviors observed when sending emails. Let's dive into the scenario. Our viewer has two SMTP servers and notices a discrepancy in how they handle email delivery failures. One server throws an exception while the other sends a mailer daemon message. This raises some intriguing questions about the behavior of SMTP servers and their configurations. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the different behaviors of SMTP servers when sending emails. In your first scenario, you received an exception indicating that the server was unable to relay the message. In contrast, the second server did not throw an exception, but instead sent you a mailer daemon message. This indicates that the email was processed differently by the server. The difference in behavior can be attributed to how each SMTP server is configured to handle undeliverable messages. Some servers may throw exceptions immediately, while others may send a notification after processing. Now, let's discuss how mailer daemon messages work. These messages are generated by the mail server when it cannot deliver an email. They provide details about the failure, including the reason and the recipient's address. Finally, if this is a configuration difference, it could involve settings related to relaying permissions or error handling. SMTP servers can be configured to either reject messages outright or to notify the sender after processing. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The error 5.7.1, unable to relay, means the mail server can't send your message to a different domain. The second error, mailbox unavailable, indicates that the server recognizes the domain but finds no mailbox. In summary, the first error involves a different domain, while the second error is about the same domain. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.